course, too soon to call the nomination a lock. GOP superdelegates say Mitt Romney is their man. Grace Lee shows us why Rick Santorum is not conceding defeat just yet, though. Grace? Yeah, not just get down. And if you look at California superdelegates, they are not allowed to endorse anyone publicly, at least until June 5th. That's when our primary is. But if you look at the national picture, the signal is even though Centorum and Gingrich are still in this race, the superdelegates are signaling that Romney is their guy. In the contentious race for the Republican presidential nomination, the three-man contest is essentially over, and a new era has begun with Mitt Romney emerging as the presumptive nominee. That's sort of the uh, the sense. Everyone's sort of wondering when is it going to be officially over, because now it's unofficially over. Stephen Wolpert is a professor of politics at St. Mary's College of California. He says Romney is reiterating his GOP leadership status with this picture reportedly taken over the holiday weekend in La Jolla, looking tanned and relaxed. I'm enjoying this. I'm having a good time. I like being in front. I don't have any worries. Uh, so let's all just uh, get settled and ready for the national campaign. Even Newt Gingrich seemed to concede over the weekend with this interview on Fox News Sunday. Well, I think you have to be realistic. Given the size of his organization, given the number of primaries he's won, uh, he is far and away the most likely Republican nominee. State GOP chair and superdelegate Tom Del Vaccaro says, hold on, Romney still doesn't have the 1,144 delegates he needs, and candidate Rick Santorum may still have a slim chance in the upcoming primaries, especially if he wins his home state. I think it's a very difficult row for him to hoe at this point, but if he's got any chance at all, it's got to start with Pennsylvania. But Del Bacaro says it's all about timing for Santorum. He needs to stay in this race long enough to show that he's a strong number two, maybe even vying for that VP status with Romney. But if he stays in too long, he'll just look defeated. Live in Berkeley, Grace Lee, CBS 5.